Hello and welcome once again fellow gaming fans and survivors, this is Small Archangel. Welcome back to 7 Day to Die Alpha 14. And our base is not looking that much different. Uh, I It's day 45 and I've spent a couple of days out off camera doing a bit of work in here. You can see I've finished the concrete around. I've also put some storage chests in here uh, just so we can keep some stuff. Um, I'm going to have a storage facility, basically like just a room full of the storage crates which have got um, you know, so we've got some indication of where stuff is and we get it organised. But for the time being, I mean, this is going to be the, the area where we're going to have our forges and our cooking fires. And they're all going to be in here. So these storage chests ultimately will just be used for the items we need for cooking and for forging. Plus the fuel to run the, uh, the forges and the stoves. So as you can see, I am still crafting things like Bilio. There we go. Uh, I'm keeping up to this with clay and not the one I'm going to be able to put all of that in and stone. So we're keeping as much of that topped up as much as we can do. That didn't work. Just put it all in there. There we go. That's what I meant. So we, we need to get some more clay. Uh, we've got tons of stone. I've got that, but I've also got that kind of with loads of stone in as well we've got our wood in this one as i said it's a temporary measure we've got arms and weapon um, tools and what have you and weapon parts in there and then we've got some building block type things in here and then this is the one where i'm keeping all of my um sort of concrete mix cement mix cobblestones i've got various things here um so uh yeah we've got things you know more kind of organized now which is cool but Oh, and I've uh, I've kind of upgraded, you know, another layer of our ceiling there. So we're probably ready, actually, to put another layer of uh, rebar on there. So this is what I tend to do. Just to get myself up there. We have to make ourselves a temporary staircase. There we go. And then we can get on here. And then we're not actually going to be able to fit these now, are we? Because... Okay, we're going to have to put this lower in order to do that, but never mind. So I won't necessarily do this all now, but yeah, we certainly need to put these in here and then I can upgrade this as I, oops, as I go and as I get the ingredients together. Okay, so I'll leave that for the time being, but you get the uh, idea of what I'm doing while I'm off camera and just while I'm in here crafting at night getting the place organized okay so there's our rebar frames there's our wood frames hey ho okay so uh what we're going to do today we're going to make a second forge so i've got a load of iron and what have you here waiting to be smelted and we're probably going to end up with even more than that because we've only just really started digging this place out you can see we've got the four doorways here uh, one obviously leads to the entrance way, which is going to have to be dug out a little bit more as well because the floor level is going to be where I'm standing now rather than absolutely at bedrock. We're going to keep the little room that we first thought of through there, but I'm gradually going to be moving all the stuff in through here and our bedroll will be through here eventually as well. Um, and we're going to have these other three doorways leading through to a storage room, through to living quarters, that kind of thing. Um, that's lower priority at the moment what we really need is to get this place sorted out so that's what we're going to do today we need cooking fires in here and we need another forge so uh we're gonna we're gonna see if we can make another forge now the question is what have i moved through here and what have i not well most of my random um this is why i need letters so that i know which way i'm going most of my random uh, ingredients as it were crafting ingredients and what have you are still through here i've actually got um these just here as drop boxes now they're completely empty but they could act as drop boxes because they're just right at the bottom of our ladder so we can come in we can chuck stuff in there and then run uh off to do whatever you know during the hours of daylight um and then we've got all this stuff here which we're going to need to find a home for but at the moment yeah it's uh there we go a little bit uh a little bit uh chaotic so we're getting there bit by bit forge i need some clay also i think which is about the other thing we have to make some bellows and that's fine we can make some bellows but we're going to need stone and clay which are definitely in the other room so let's just make some bellows first if i can spell it here we go there's our bellows 
The forge we have, uh, the good news is we've got some calipers for it and we've also got an anvil but we haven't of course found the tool and die uh, set, set yet so uh, we're going to have to go to working stiff tools which we might do today once we've got this forge up and running. We also need more coal funnily enough. Um, so we're going to need some stone and we're going to need some clay. We, Yeah, we could probably do with getting some more clay also. Uh, bellows. Yay, there we go. They're just done. Forge. Here we go. Marvellous. And that's going to take... Oh, only 12 seconds. That's not too bad. Right, we'll put that stuff left. Oh. Can I have a little bit more stone than that, please? I tend to get through them for arrows. There we go, and there's our forge. Now, in the name of being, you know, sort of symmetrical there, that's what we're going to do. We've got a thousand to start us off, and as you can see, there's our forge steel that we uh, that we found earlier. And we're going to need to put clay in this sucker as well, aren't we? While I don't have any tools in this one, uh, I don't suppose it matters too much because we can make an anvil, but we can probably move the tools across from the other forge if we need them and we're probably going to need our tools actually in this forge rather than that let's see we've got an anvil and we've got no 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 no. i want it in there <laughs> and we've got the calipers so we'll put those in this forge because this is the one we're going to be using to make our tools and our weapons and our armor initially and then after that we're probably going to be using it to um make ourselves some more steel some more lovely steel to upgrade the joint so let's just grab this there we go oh actually let's put in a stack of clay as well if i've got a stack of clay to put in let's just put that back in there because i'm pretty sure that most of our recipes like for example what are we going to want to make weapons for example, steel arrowheads, iron arrowheads, there we go. We're going to need clay for those. Uh, furniture, resources, forged iron we're going to need, and we're going to need clay for that as well. So here we go. This is kind of, we're kind of short of clay, so I think we're probably going to be going for some clay today. And on it goes. And we'll just leave it to its own devices. So, what with these two going, and we're going to put some stoves and cooking fires in here as well. Uh, goodness only knows uh, how it's going to go. We're going to probably end up with an awful lot of screens directly above our heads, because we are, of course, directly above the pit. Uh, below, I think, from the pit. So, uh, that is kind of the point. It's going to be a bit of a, a furnace here. It's going to be a bit of a heat magnet, not just from my personal perspective, but from the point of view of those screamers who are uh, very much going to be coming along here and, you know, shrieking their little heads off. So we're going to put our cooking fires here, but we're not going to put them on the floor because every time I put stuff on the floor, I burn myself. Yeah, it's not a good idea to put them on the floor because, yeah, you can burn yourself. Um, should we make them out of concrete? We just need to basically put them on top of a surface of some sort. I don't suppose it matters over much what we do some more of that. I'll just grab this cement. We're going to need some more resources for there as well. Let's just make some more concrete mix. We need sand and small stones, which are all in here. I want to make a, a concrete mixer as well. Uh, and I do have a crappy engine, uh, so we're going to try and make some concrete. Uh, we're going to try and make a a concrete mixer simply because I want to be able to set that going and have it make sand for me out of all the stone we've got and all the stone we will get when we dig the rest of the place out um, and that will yeah that will speed things along a bit nicely hello I think that's just a single zombie I'll have a bit of repairing to do after he's mashed up my spikes I dare say I've done all the repairing after the after the horde so it's uh that's all sorted. A screamer cannot possibly have brought a horde because they don't know I'm here. See? Not even sense down here. And there he goes. Lovely. Okay, so we've got lots of concrete mix now because I've been making it since you last saw me. So let's just see what we've got as possibilities. Oh, we could have a couple of concrete pillars and stick fires on top of those. They might look quite cool, actually. Or we could have concrete plates, which also might look quite cool. 
Okay, so for example, I'll put it that way up so that we've actually got, yeah, somewhere to put things on top of it. And that is probably what we want, so like that. Right, let's make a few more of those. So a concrete plate, we're going to need like four of them, four more of them, I think. And we do that, and then that's nice and symmetrical. And then if we do that... Oh, no! That's so annoying. That is not what I meant, clearly. One of the first things we're going to make is a pickaxe, because my pickaxe broke. Because it was, it was crappy anyway. Actually, I think I put it in that chest before it broke. But it's really crappy and it's really knackered, so I'm not actually sure that it's really worth saving. Ugh. Here it is. It's really crappy, and it'll probably break when I do this, but... And repairing it's just going to make it crappier. There we are. Alright, let's make another one of those. Please, concrete plate. How, how long does it take to make this, for goodness sake? Hours. Alright, here we go. Right, I'm going to scrap that, to be honest, because we may as well have something useful out of it. There. That is what I meant all the long. Okay, and now we're going to need... Oh, heck, I've got a load of stones already. Let's get fires. And for the minute, we're just going to have two of them. We'll place one there. And one on the other side there. There we go. And obviously, I'm going to need to collect a couple of cooking pots, but heck, when you go into houses, you find tons of the flaming things. And then, yeah, we're going to need some more coal as well. So let's see if we can make ourselves a decent pickaxe now. Um, can I? Do I need anything special to be able to do that? I think I probably just need to make some resources. I probably just need to make some forged iron, right? Let me just check on this. It's been so long since I made a pickaxe. Picket fence. No, really, that's not what I meant. Yeah, we just need some forged iron. Right, let's make let's make some forged iron. We can make a cooking pot, actually. Do you know what? I'm not going to waste my metal. I'll find loads of it. And there's a supply drop. Okay, I'm going to get some of this for a start off, and we'll see if we can make a pickaxe. How much do we need? We need five. There. Now we got five. Pickaxe. Hmm, let me just see. What's my skills? Do I have... I have 18 available. What's my tool smithing? Tool smithing, 12 out of 100. That's pretty crappy. Okay, I'm going to spend the 8 random points I have. I'm going to save 10 for perks, but those I'm going to spend on tool smithing. And then, let's see. Which perk should we buy with the other 10? Okay, I'm going to go into Quality Joe because we've got a few levels behind us now. Uh, let's see, we're level 68. Look at me standing here in the nude because I'm always too hot. We need to make some iron armor, for goodness sake. Um, yeah, we're like, like we're really quite high level now. And uh, yeah, we've got, you know, quality Joe, none at all. Really quite rubbish. So now let's make that. How about that pickaxe now? Hopefully I've got a pickaxe now. Oh, and it's a green one. That's better than we've had so far. Right, so we're going to go out into the world, and we are going to see if we can find ourselves some of the resources that we so desperately need. Oh, now. Can I load up my bow, please? That's better. Nice new bow, but on after the horde was pretty much done for. I harvested our garden yesterday. Also took in a few... Do not leave the hatch open, thank you. Took in a few trees as well, but only one row of them. Didn't need see the need for oh there's two drops over this way we might have to start out that way but we do need to get some uh we do need to get some uh clay today hello edgar why don't you just you know walk through all these spots oh you're intelligent now there's quite a few of them here in there are you dead you are dead Okay. 
so are you now. Splints could could come in handy. All right, let's head for these drops, especially if there's two of them over here. Do I have clay over in this direction as well? Heck, it's all over the place. Oh, look, there's one there and there's one there. There's clay all over the shop, so we should be absolutely fine for that. And what do we need to make a cement mixer, actually? We need... Ah, now I'm going to need scrap cable. I think we've got, we've got a crappy edge and we've got a couple of springs. I'm not sure if I've got five, but we can probably make them. And scrap cable, and I'm not sure if we can make cable. But I don't think I've found any of that yet. So we're going to need a few, few of the things that we probably need for a mini bike. And I would like a mini bike, but the engine we've got is quite rubbish. It wouldn't make a very good bike. No, you don't, sunshine. Bye bye. That was almost funny. Okay, it's going to take me a little while to get over here. Because. None of the perks, I mean, get lots and lots of stamina, but none of the perks actually, oh there it is, none of the perks actually speed you up, and it would be great if they did. It makes sense if they did. Well, that's some clay right there. We've got a clay pit designated over in the opposite direction, but it's quite a way off, so uh, I don't see the need to go all the way over there. I must say it's refreshing to be able to pick up a drop and not have it under the water where you feel like you're going to drown. So here we go. Let's see. Oh, let's just read this while we're here. Rocket launcher stock and some 8K47 parts. Not bad. Let's have that. Right. On we go. I can see the other one already. So that's good, actually. These two seem to have fallen in pretty much the same area, which is great. Oh, now we need some more sand, too, and there's a load of that around here. Ah, lovely. Did I know that recipe? I did know that recipe. Good. We're going to be making some iron armour as soon as we can get around to it. We'll get back to our base. Probably we'll be able to do that. And we'll take everything else. There we go. Now, there's a load of sand here. I have a shovel. Let's get digging. Okay, that's it. We've got a thousand. Uh, it takes a little bit of doing, does that? So uh, I've only got one glass jar, so I can't fill. It. I think I filled up all my my uh, the existing glass jars. So we probably need to gather some more, to be honest. But I've been so focused on making our base that really everything else has kind of got out the window a bit. And there's, when there's only you doing stuff, really, let's just go over this way a bit. We'll find some clay then uh, yeah you kind of have to prioritize things and some things go out the window somewhat so here we go let's get some clay now and it's rather quicker to, uh, to uh, gather clay i'm gonna have to make myself a decent shovel as well i think because this one's a bit rubbish right we now have three full stacks of uh of clay which means more or less it, it gather that twice or three times as fast as we can uh, the sand, which is great. Uh, now, what I want to do is pay a quick fly and visit to Working Stiff Tools, which is this way. Uh, I think it's respawned by now. If it has, that would be great because um, I would like to um, see if they've got, uh, well, anything useful, really. Anything that we can use, any tools, anything we can scrap down, anything like that. Now, I don't remember if we have tyres. Oh my goodness me, we do now. It's my lucky day. Come give me a try if you're hard enough, zombies. It's like Bob's Dynasty better days. Crack a book as well. Hmm, if we have time. There's lots of tyres around, but I've got my perfect set now. I don't think I need look anywhere else. Uh, for now, let's just see what we have in here if anything oh hello iron shovel well that's less good than the one i've got do you know what if we've got really crappy tools like this i'm going to assume that we can make better ones now that's pretty good might keep that and i'm going to scrap the ones that are pretty crappy no just in case i can't really afford to pick that up at the moment beer ah oh, i would like to but i'm not sure i can really 
Jars would be useful actually, so we will pick up some of those if we can. And normally we can. Okay, where's the rest of the crates in here? Nope. There's not so many. Ooh, forging iron. Yeah, I've noticed you can pick up forging iron in uh, random places as well now. It's good loot. Yeah, we'll scrap that. Okay, is that all of them in here? Right. Anvil. Nice. That means both of our... Oh, hard metal doors. Actually, we do want metal doors. Ah, oh, rats. Do you know what? We've got too much crap now. Ooh. Oh, that was stupid. Okay, I'm not sure we really need a sledgehammer, but we'll see what else there is around here. Ah, repair kits. You see, I just can't turn my... I can't turn any of this down, really. Uh, you know what? We can do that. We can afford to do that because I can make any amount of those. Hose, again. I'm just going to scrap some of this st stuff from in here. That is quite a good quality hoe, though. I am not likely to use a sledgehammer. I am more likely to use a hoe. Nice. We can pile that. And, oh, we can take those and fire axes. I don't think I've got a fire axe at all just yet. Uh, but again, I've got quite a lot of... Okay, let's just see. There we go. Now we can do it. Okay, this one's better quality. And that one we can scrap. Cool. Whoops. Right. All this metal shelving, unless you can one-shot it, really isn't worth gathering because it just takes too long uh, for too little reward. There are better sources of metal, and uh, to be honest, no room in inventory. That is annoying. Uh, yes, we're just going to have to wait on that one, aren't we, really? That, let's just scrap that actually. There we go. Oh, that's annoying too. I didn't really want arrows in my hand, but. Uh, paper. What time are we on? 8.45. Hmm, we don't really have time for this. We should be going and making armour, not reading about it. Okay, I think maybe we'll come back here another time or maybe you know maybe we should just do this for the thrill i'm not sure do you know what this place is not that big i'm gonna do it just as quickly as i can Right, that's it. It's dark now, so we're in, uh, yeah, interesting times now. So uh, let's head off back to base. Have you ever had that where you just couldn't put the book down, you know? Reading, it's compelling. Uh, you lose track of time and go, oh dear, look, look what happened. Well, I kind of knew uh, we'd end up in the dark. And I dare say, well, this place is fairly quiet. I did up my zombie count, but it doesn't make too much difference when actually you've killed them. Uh, and you've done a pretty good job of slaughtering them all off, so we may or may not have issues. I can see the odd one here or there. I'm not going to court their attention because what I want to do now is make some armour. Uh, so, now let me just see actually, am I heading, yeah, I am heading towards the right base. Of course, I don't have a bed marker at the other one, do I? No. Well, that was worthwhile anyway because there's quite a few bits of uh, armour. Um, uh, recipes in there which was good because our armor smithing has gone up without us really having to do anything very much so that's good so hopefully we'll be able to craft some halfway decent armor now and the other thing is that i found and picked up a quest a buy the farm challenge don't know what that means never had it before um now where's the entrance to my base i can never it's behind me um so yeah, that, that'll be worth it. But there was also two other ones in there as well. I don't think there's anything in there. No, there wasn't good. Let's get down below. Um, there was also two others in there. So the next time we're passing, we have to go pick those up. Because um, uh, now, yeah, we've got 
that somewhere we can keep these things so i'm actually going to put those just there for the time being and then now i do have don't we have a cooking pot in this yeah i'm going to leave the cooking pot in that one over there for the moment because at the moment all my food and all that kind of stuff is still through there so i'm going to leave it there for the sec i might sort it out overnight or off camera or something but that is not my priority right now right now uh let's see i want to find somewhere to put okay we've got some ak-47 parts uh here we've got a rocket launcher part we've got an anvil for our forge right so we're gonna have to see if we can make some uh make some armor now let's see what we've got have we learned the recipes for iron armor we have learned them we need forged iron and leather okay well i think i've got some leather let's just make some more forged iron here make a fair bit of it actually let's just i should just let's just hit that is that crafting it yes it is oh good uh, let's just go, because I think my leather is still in. We've got a few hides left, but my uh, already tanned leather, as it were, is in our other. Put my arrows away now. And have a drink. Probably going to have to take this out once I've raised the floor level. Uh, or maybe I just won't bother raising the floor level in here. I'm not sure. No, that's not what I mean. Leather. Have we got leather? We've got 40 leather, so that's kind of worth having. Tada. Uh, yeah, there's our crappy little engine and some other bits of mini bike, but not enough bits of mini bike. We have no battery, for example. They could be quite awkward to find as well. Oops, would seem I made forge steel by accident, but you know what? That's not a big deal. We can certainly use forge steel, and we intended to anyway. We're going to use that to upgrade principally our doors and hatches as they stand. Um, but I want my forging iron for some armor, so let's get crafting armor. We can make iron boots, chest, gloves, helmet, legs. Uh, now am I wearing anything at all? No, I am not wearing anything at all. Okay. Uh, boots, gloves, and we have run out of something. Probably the iron. Uh, helmet I'm not bothered about. I like my mining helmet. And chest. There we go. Oh, look at that. That is brilliant. That's really good, actually. 447. That is brill. That is going to make such a difference. No, do not scrap it. Put that on. Okay, so I'm going to put my leather in there for the minute. And, yeah, these are going to take a little while to do, so I might just put some other stuff away in the meantime. Okay, then, so we've got a full set now. It's all blue, 447 and 448, which is far better than I thought it was going to be, which is brilliant. We'll stick all that on, and look at that. I'm not actually wearing anything under it, but hey, uh, I daren't in case I get too hot, but... This has got an insulation of minus five. So knowing my look, I will now get too cold. But we do have some uh, clothes elsewhere if we really need them. I've got some more beakers there. And that's a full stack of beakers in there. We're still going to need to... We can make a grill, but we're going to need a cooking pot as well in probably both of those. Um, and we've got two of them, which means that we can use one of the cookers for food and the other. For, oh, we can cook two things simultaneously, which is great. But I do need some more coal. In the meantime, I'll just have to keep on top of these and make sure that they've got enough coal in them. That one, for example, probably needs a bit more. So we'll see if we can bug that in there. Come on. Oh, put it there. Yes, there we go. Great! All right, I'm going to carry these glass jars with me so that I can fill them up when I get the opportunity. <clears throat> but... Uh, 
yeah for now i think that is sufficient for this episode it's now day 46 of course we're going to have the day 49 hoard in just a few days i will probably do some more off camera work because this place is still a long way from finished if you if you like what you see so far you ain't seen nothing yet so i do hope you'll carry on watching for now wow from the sauna which it will be when i get these all going which i will have by the time we get to the next episode um yeah we're really going to be calling in the screamers uh, but i don't really care the pit will take care of them and if they don't run into the pit then we can take care of them at our leisure because our entrance is nowhere near where they will be drawn to so we will be able to sneak up on them i've already done it with one of them so i speak from experience okay guys don't forget if you enjoyed this video let me know hit the like button Feel free to comment as ever, and I will see you in the next episode. Till then, keep gaming, keep surviving, stay happy. Bye-bye for now.